Hi, in this tutorial I want to show you some text extensions in Inkscape. Go to Extensions Text, but before that we need to select a text object. Then go to Extensions Text and choose let's say uppercase. And you see how this changed the letters in the text. I'm going to select it again, go to Text Extensions and choose lowercase. You see how this transformed the text. Now next thing I'll do is select this object here and choose the option sentence case and you see this changed the first letter to capital. Then again I can choose the flip case and you see how this change this letter and the rest of the letters are now capital. Now again I'm going to select this and choose this random case and see what this did to the text. Now next I'm going to select this object and choose this title case and you see this transformed the text. Now I'm going to select this object text split text and this option can be very useful and uh, first thing you see we can preserve the original text I'm going to uncheck that I don't want to preserve it and also we can work with lines words or letters we don't have lines so I'm going to choose words here apply and you see how this split the text into two different objects and this can be useful sometimes because in this way you can apply different effects to the different text objects and you don't have to go back and recreate this you can just split the text now next thing I want to show you I'm going to select this and first go to text and choose this lower case and I'm going to show you why in a second then I'm going to select this text again extensions text and click on this replace text I'm going to click on live preview and delete this replace and buy and I'm going to type here photo advanced and I'm going to replace it by let's say just photo and you see the live preview here I'm going to click apply to apply the effect, close this and you see the effect now. I'm going to undo a few steps to get back to this random case. Make sure I've selected the object again, select this replace text and you see now if I enter let's say the word buy and click here to replace it with something else and you see that this is not uh, changing I'm going to turn on the live preview it's not changing because we have difference in the case here so if I want to change it I have to enter this capital letter Y so if this extension is not working this might be the reason why so that's it for this tutorial these text extensions can be very useful sometimes so take advantage of them and subscribe like the video that's it for now bye